Hello all ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the finale of this year's Climate Investment Challenge. First off, I'd like to thank you all for being here. To watch what I know will be some fantastic presentations and to discover how these teams have sought to tackle climate change in their own way. So why are we here today? Well, there is clear worry and talk about climate change. There is still not clear and large enough action. The future lies ahead of you, but we're very grateful you're here to, to shape it. So congratulations. The acceleration of climate change is creating an unpredictable world along coastlines. The world needs mitigation and adaptation solutions that sequester carbon, improve biodiversity, protect developing communities, and manage climatic risk. The solution is mangroves. Mangroves are amazing. During storms, they reduce property loss by up to 16%, they reduce flooding by as much as a quarter, and they sequester carbon at a rate five times greater than the Amazon rainforest. And yet they're under threat with 25 to 30% losses since 1970. Parametric insurance is the way to protect mangroves. We think it's crazy that we don't protect and insure nature the way we do virtually all other classes of assets. Coast Haven will provide attractive rates of return to investors and proof of concept that we can ensure and protect the benefits of nature in the face of climate change. This is something close to my heart. I actually grew up riding public school buses throughout my childhood here in the US. And I distinctly remember the smell of diesel fumes in the bus and just thought that was a normal thing. Uh, it wasn't until I was an adult that I realized that smell came along with particulate matter that was uh, potentially harming myself, my classmates and the community around me, in addition to the greenhouse gas emissions being emitted. So over the next five years, U.S. school districts will need to replace 120,000 buses, but state and federal governments have only provided enough funding for 10% of those to be electric. Our solution is to help provide more uh, access to capital to school districts uh, and to bring forward the adoption curve of electric school buses. We believe that EV buses are a proven and scalable way to decarbonize transportation. We think that we can increase EV bus adoption and also build an industry around funding this transition beyond just our capital. We think we can offer investors 26% IRR, which is competitive. And we think this is ready for implementation, supported by existing players in the market today. Like a sponge, the ocean is absorbing the emissions we produce. As the ocean absorbs carbon dioxide, it produces more acidity. And this destroys marine ecosystems. But a lot of people and governments fail to realise this. And this is because, as a society, we have failed to recognise the economic and environmental value of our ocean. But at Ocean Nation Capital, the ocean is our currency. And we see a lot of value in something that gets washed away on the beach and is generally left forgotten. And that's seaweed. Seaweed can absorb three times more carbon dioxide than other terrestrial plants. Its rapid growth rate means that it can be harvested up to four times a year, sequestering 1.3 thousand tonnes of carbon dioxide. Our solution will protect our oceans. It is a scalable, replicable and sustainable debt instrument. It can assist governments in reaching their carbon neutrality goals and provide employment to coastal communities. And it can advance the industry. We're here to present the Phoenix Fund, which in short will utilize a novel blended insurance scheme that is meant to invest in wildfire resilience in the state of California through de-risking and building back wildfire prone communities. At least in the last decade or so, you've seen over 7 million acres that have burned, uh, primarily those sitting at uh, WI areas. Those are wildland urban interfaces where really you have like wild areas and urban areas kind of overlapping or meeting. And those are particularly risky and prone to wildfires. But homeowners aren't the only folks that are really experiencing some challenges as a result of these wildfires. For example, on the next slide, we'll see that insurance companies and state and mun municipal governments also face some significant challenges and additional costs as a result of these wildfires. And so this brings us to our solution. Our solution is the Phoenix Fund, which acts as an intermediary between public and private sector funding and wildfire resilience investments at the municipal level. Resolute is an in-app integration for trading platforms that allows individual investors to participate in shareholder activism. 
Resolute connects investors with existing campaigns happening in their portfolio and enables active participation, co-filing of resolutions, and the ability to vote in company AGMs. By uniting individual investors, Resolute will amplify the efforts of those organizations and those campaigns that are already working hard to engage with companies on ESG and will give more people a seat at the table. Today, we estimate that there are more than 500 million individual shareholders globally across more than 300 trading platforms, investing in the more than 43,000 globally listed companies. By scaling Resolute, we engage these companies to commit to net zero, saving millions to billion tons of CO2 and to invest their share of the trillions needed to power the transition, leading us to a sustainable and just future. Conventional agricultural practices have led to an over-reliance on chemical and mineral inputs, a biodiversity crisis and a reduction in soil health. Our mission is to produce high-value Mediterranean orchard crops through scaling up regenerative management practices, restoring biodiversity and climate stability, all the while offering retail investors the opportunity to become farmers. The solution proposed is through regenerative agriculture. RA is a system of farming principles and practices that increase biodiversity, improve watersheds, and restore soil health by carbon sequestration. So we use the concept of tokenization, which effectively we securitize the farmland asset as a token on the blockchain, which can be traded in the secondary market. There's many upsides to this. First, token holder can get fractional ownership of the farmland, exposure to the operational income of the farmland, and also upside participation on any agricultural developments and techniques. We want everyone to be able to farm, be it from their couch, from the tube, or even from the office. But not only that, we want to offer people the opportunity to do so when, while making a positive climate impact. And this is the essence of the Sustain Acre offering. So, the final three. Um, we will start with the emerging market, which is Coast Haven. Um, yeah, so congratulations to Coast, Coast Haven. Um, again, we, we think that's a, a brilliant idea. Obviously, mangroves play an incredibly critical role um, and it fulfilled the emerging market um, tick, which was, was what was, was needed. So the runner up um, is Resolute. If you want to come down, come down. Um, <laughs> The number one thing was that we could see that there's a business here that in a year or two we could actually see happening or a business that is already happening. And it was a very clear line between the money, um, the prize money and what you want to do with it. Um, so I think that that, that you know was, was really useful. Congratulations guys, um, brilliant idea and hope to see the business actually operating. Which obviously leaves us at the end of it um, with Sustain Acre. So congratulations guys. <laughs> Big congratulations. Um, what we really liked with what you were doing, um, again, it's hitting a lot of boxes. It's, it's um, climate, it, it's carbon sequestration through regenerative farming. It's also resilience to communities who need access to food, need access to income under a changing climate scenario. Um, there's a lot there that is looking at, okay, how can we support other areas? But anyway, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's a massive congratulations to you guys. Um, out of 110 applications or different teams from all over the world, you guys have done fantastic. Um, the work you guys have put in over the last eight months is really something that I, don't know, I think it showed today and it's really come through. And so uh, I hope you guys take the idea further and if you have a community through the Climate Investment Challenge and through the centre, so I hope you reach out if you want to pursue your ideas further. And that goes to Coast Haven too, even though they, are, they were online. and all the teams that made it through to the final. It's been a pleasure to work with everyone to kind of bring this day together. As I said at the start, this is our first in-person finale. We were changing, changing up the program. We had a new we had new sponsors. We had a new prize. So a massive congratulations to the team. You guys have been awesome. Um, that's it for me. Thank you once again, and I hope you've enjoyed today. So cheers.